Hey everyone, I've been getting a lot of requests from you guys for just super easy recipes that you can throw together. So today I've actually got three different combinations that are pretty much no cooking, just putting things together. And I have a little secret ingredient. It's probiotic rich fermented vegetables, which are incredible for our gut health. And most importantly, they taste amazing. So for the first one, I'm actually going to do a, just a really nice salad. And I'm working with Farmhouse Culture to do this video, and they have this incredible ginger beets fermented vegetable, which is incredible. But it needs to have a little something something to go on. So I'm putting together an arugula salad. The first thing I'm gonna do is add a little bit of olive oil. This is just organic arugula that I picked up at the market. And then to that, I'm gonna do a balsamic glaze. Now, balsamic glaze is super easy to make at home. You put balsamic vinegar on the stovetop, you reduce it until it's a little more syrupy. It's incredible, and when you mix it with olive oil, you're ready to go with a delicious dressing. So I'm just gonna do a little bit of that. Perfect. I have these amazing, my, my grandparents gave these to me. They're called the bear, the grizzly paws, and they're trademarked, how funny is that? Um, I mean, it's not funny. I mean, if I invented them, I would trademark them too. But anyway, I just love these little things. They're hilarious. So I'm just gonna mix that up. I'm going to add those greens in nice and lightly. And then to jazz this up even further, I'm gonna do a little bit of goat cheese, just crumbled goat cheese. We eat with our eyes first, so we, wanna, we want this to be pretty. We don't want a sad little salad. Goat cheese always sticks to my fingers, it's just me. So I'm just gonna shake on some of the beets. And they've got like a nice tanginess, which is gonna be delicious with the balsamic glaze. It sort of balances it out because the glaze is kind of sweeter to me. Look at that purple, love. I mean, the best part about this, you didn't have to cut them, but if you were doing this for a party, people would think that you just like reinvented the wheel or something. Now we have some walnuts. I'm just gonna pop those on here. I just really quickly toasted them. Be careful if you're toasting nuts. It's so easy to let them burn, but we don't want that to happen. Um, hello, our salad's like basically done. I'm gonna do a little Malden sea salt just to give a little pop and some fresh ground pepper. Finish it with a little bit more of that glaze. Gorgeous. That's your first combination ready to go. This next dish is a delicious Asian style coleslaw. I'm starting by straining some of the orange ginger carrots, that juice is delicious, and then some lime juice to give it a little brightness, and then a little bit of Dijon mustard, pull everything together, a little bit of low sodium soy sauce, give us some umami, and then I'm going to do a little honey just to balance out those flavors, honey. And we'll just go ahead and do a little bit of pepper, whisk that together. Once that's combined, I'm gonna add some canola oil, a nice neutral oil just to give pull this whole thing together. Perfect. And then at the end, we're just going to do some black sesame seeds. I love how this looks. It looks so cool. Now for the slaw part, we're gonna add some thinly sliced green cabbage. And then just for a little color, we'll add some red cabbage that's also thinly sliced. Mix that together with your hands. And then we're gonna grab the farmhouse culture orange ginger carrots and mix those in. I'll finish those off with a fork just because it's a little bit uh, wetter now because of the liquid, which the liquid's delicious by the way. And then we're gonna do some parsley. Parsley just gives it a nice little color and also pop. And then our dressing, love how those sesame seeds look. Go ahead and mix that up. Finish it off with a little bit of crushed peanuts and you are good to go. This could not be easier and your friends and family are going to think that you just spent all this time. Last but not least, we're gonna do a stuffed avocado. So cut an avocado in half, take out the pit, and then really carefully scoop out the avocado so you don't mess up the little shell we're creating here. Mash the avocado up and once that's all mashed together, set that aside. And then I'm gonna start with some mayonnaise made with avocado oil. Add some beautiful tuna fish to that. And then also a little bit of the brine from the taqueria mix. Mix that together. And then we are gonna add some of the taqueria mix vegetables to that as well. Go ahead and mix that all in. And then add your mashed avocado. That's how we're gonna get a beautiful color. And also the acidity from the brine will help make the avocado not turn a weird color. And then we're gonna stuff it right back into our little avocados that we 
carefully um, unscooped. And then we're gonna smooth that out because I'm being real precious. You certainly don't have to do this. And then add a little bit of the vegetables on top. Top with some cilantro and you have a delicious lunch. All right, you guys, let me know what you think of all my little recipes in the comment section. And definitely check out Farmhouse Culture because I really love their fermented vegetables. They're so delicious. And they made all these little things so easy to pull together and added so much flavor. Not to mention some probiotics for my tummy so I can look and feel gorgeous all summer long. All right, you guys, thank you so much for watching this video and I will see you next time.